Hey sports fans, here we are out at the property on Monday, September the 2nd. It's Labor Day. This is a Labor Day weekend. I apologize for not a Saturday update, but this is the Labor Day weekend update. So, it's a little bit late, but it's here. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here. A little cool this morning, but sunny. Um, now we're up to just, just like 19 degrees. It's like 67, 66. It's beautiful out here, sunny, just a touch of a breeze. It's a beautiful day. Uh, grass is still not cut. We've had some uh, <clears throat> setbacks along that road, but nothing to worry about. We'll get done shortly. Hopefully this coming week we'll get it, we'll get it set up to go. So what have we accomplished this week out of the property and our update, as you can see, our splitter is back. John brought the splitter today. Both John and Ken wrote to help me. Oh. Both John and Ken wrote to help. And John brought the splitter back. And he also brought his bread mailer. And we started on the base for the wood stove. So uh, we had to move the stones out. Um, I built a little frame here. With, and John, we put it together with John's brad nailer. And then uh, two bags of non-shrinking grout in the bottom to make sure everything's all leveled off. It's still a little bit wet. We can't put the blocks back. It's got to dry yet. So that's where we are right now um, on this. So hopefully this week I'll get the stain out and I'm going to stain the trim boards around where the blocks are going because when the blocks go in here... Uh, see we've got little lines on there so we're gonna have a quarter inch lip here to the top so I'm gonna stain this outside top and a little bit on the inside um, just to protect it a little bit and then the blocks are going in we got some sand to go in at the bottom and then we'll take the the blocking off because I put the blocking there so the grout wouldn't push the push those little one by fours out so that's all set up that's poured ready to go it's setting up um you can see the little cross mark in the center there that's where i set my level everything was good everything's leveled out so we're good that way so we just got to wait for that to dry probably next weekend i think we're going to do the sand and the blocks put some sand down level out the blocks fill the cracks in with the sand wood stove and go back on it and we're off to the races. So that's the interior of the cabin. Um, exterior. Uh, I got the uh, the wood stove here. Um, took a wire brush to it. The wire brush is right there, actually. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more. But wire brush the top. I'm gonna do the sides later on. Uh, front, back, and sides. Um, and we got some paint started on here. It should be dry now. And a little tacky. I've been putting very, very light coats on it. We put like four on so far. So we're getting the wood stove cleaned up and nice. And by the time this is done, the inside will be done. We will take that and the wood stove, put it all back inside and have it ready to go. So that's that part. That's on the way. So we got that done as well today. And uh, Ken had a bonfire. Although, he didn't burn as much as he normally did. But as you can see how long the grass is here. It's a frickin' jungle. I gotta get it cut. But, hopefully we'll get it. Oh, turkey feather. Woo! There we go. Nice little turkey feather. I'll save that. All sorts of little turkey feathers around. They must be molting for little ones. So, as you can see last week, we got all this other stuff done, but we got the roofing on today. So, uh, we went and got the roofing, uh, put it on. I had to build myself a little thing of steps to get up to the top to finish all the ones in the center. But it's all said, set and done. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Owen come back and do another 
round of timber oil on the exterior of it to protect it. Um, and yeah, so that's done as well. So now that's done, we'll get this. Uh, we've got to put another coat of timber oil on the wood hauler. So that's why I've just got it sitting there. So we can get that done. And then once it's done and dry, we can move it back in and put it on the pallet underneath. So everything will be nice and done. Uh, get a little bit of drip edge put down and all our screws in and everything's good to go. So that's pretty much what we got left to do here is I gotta pull those spools out. There's a sheet of OSB to go down there on the ground. And then once that's done, I've got some one by fours to put across the front for protection so it doesn't rip up the OSB. Uh, the spools will go back in this corner over here. And then we can take all the one by four, the, the four by fours, the six by sixes and the eight by eights that are on the deck. And we can stack them in here with the rest of the ones that you can see in here. We got some six by sixes in here um, along with the rest of the wood. So we'll get that done and we'll get that all sorted out. Like they may go over there. I don't know. We'll move the bike around or whatever and see what we can do. And I keep those little small pallets in here uh, because you never know when you need a couple small pallets. But we got lots of room for them now on the side here because this is all gonna this is all covered. So as you can see, it's not you know premium grade construction, but for what we got to do, it's gonna work quite well. Um, I'm just gonna have to do something about this edge here because I know I'm gonna hit my head on it and cut my head open. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for that yet, but we will get it done. So that's what's going on here. Like I said, that pallet's gotta go down. I should have taken that down to Ken today when he was having this bonfire. And Ken had the mini bike out today and did a little bit of work on it. Um, he was going to take it home, change the oil, but I think he might do that if he comes out next weekend or the weekend after and change the oil. So we'll take a quick trip down to the pit here. See, like I say, it's a beautiful day out today. Not much else is going on beside that. We've been working on those projects. And getting that done, everything else is kind of not getting done yet, but we will get everything done. This we've got, I would say, 95% of the big stuff done out here that we need. So, and Oh yeah, it's still smoking a little bit. I may uh, I may scoop that up into the center so it burns. But as you can see, the pit's still not empty. Not at all. Like you should almost be able to, across there, you should almost be able to, uh, to see the leaves and walk across it. So, see we've had a lot of rain. We're supposed to be getting, I don't know if we're supposed to get more this week or not. But, uh, that's what's going on right now. So everything's good here. We've got uh, we got a few more things to do that I want to get done before winter time sets in to make sure everything gets finished properly and overall cozy it up for the winter time. So, and then this winter, Ken and I will probably put in the, uh, put in the flooring, take our time and, and get it done. Cause we do have to move some wood over yet. And the laneway really needs to be mowed badly as well. We'll get that done. I have not seen very many animals out here. Ken saw a deer when he came in this morning. He beat me out. By a little bit and he saw a deer all I've seen is like 
a couple chippies and a squirrel and a few little birds flying around but there hasn't really been anything other than that like no blue jays no no goldfinches it's crazy it's almost like there's a fisher around but i haven't caught anything on the game cameras that i know of now i gotta download those pictures i'll probably do that wednesday when i come out but we got Travis the Willow here is doing really well. Looks like bugs have been eating his leaves. Poor Travis. Let's do something about that. Anyway, he's growing really well. And, uh, oh, there goes a froggy. So he's all, all doing well this year, which is really good with all the rain we've had. It's really done him well. So I think even next year, I'm gonna have to take the top off this crate and make it higher for him because it seems that he's outgrown this in a year not width wise but height wise which is fantastic so and as you can see get out of the sunlight here as you can see how long the grass is out here it's just going to take me a bit to mow it because I'm going to have to do it in two stages if it's too long to do all at once <clears throat> even with the tractor so that's pretty much it for our update for this week happy Labor Day to everybody hope everybody's having a great time um, our kids don't our, there's a PA day tomorrow of course Labor Day today PA day tomorrow for the teachers and then I believe the kids go back on Wednesday, the 4th. So they're there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then... <clears throat> and that's it. So we're starting back into the school year again this year. And everything's going well. We're getting everything done out here. Next big job next year is going to be uh, doing some more firewood. And we've got the pile of pile of dirt here that's got to be spread out to fill in these these holes in the trench where I dug down the conduit for the solar stuff and get all that set up because once I smooth this area out this is where the wood processing center is going to go it's right in there um, I've got a cover down there um, to put the splitter underneath I get this stuff moved out next year and cleaned up I've already started to clean up some of it, but we got way more to do um, and get that wood split and then finish off here. I've left the stuff out here for Owen to do the paint and stuff like that. We'll get this wood put in, move to the front, the elm come over and um, I was looking around. There's a maple tree in the back that started to fall down. So that's one that can be cut down. Might get it done this fall or over the winter. It's not too, too, too bad out. So that's the update for today, sports fans. Um, always lots going on around here. Always lots to do. And everybody have a happy Labor Day. Uh, share this video. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Do all the stuff for the algorithm. Get me more people. Get me more views. And then maybe with everything going on, once I get enough people out here, I can do a live. And uh, we can get that done. So, happy Labor Day. We'll see you here.